Hey, how's it going, guys? This is Benoit, and I wanted to do this quick code block series on React Native because I've been getting a lot of requests to do more videos on React Native. I know I've not been uploading videos regularly, but I'm just swamped in the last few months, so I just wanted to do this quick React Native video since it's a quick, easy application to build. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. I'm in my terminal and uh, I'm going to create a new React Native project. So before we do that, just make sure you have everything installed. You can check out my previous video, which goes through setting up your machine for developing for React Native. It sets up Android emulator, it sets up iOS simulator. And once you have everything done, just go to your terminal and type in React Native in it and call it the application name. So in this case, it's going to be called Clock. So we'll just install the dependencies and create the application for us and I will catch you when that is done. So now that our application's uh, in installed, we can go to our clock folder. So we type in CD clock. And once we're here, we're gonna open up, open it up in our text editor. I use Sublime Text. So once that is done, Let's also start the React Native Package Manager. Uh, you don't have to start it because when you run any Android or iOS simulator, it will automatically do it. But I'd like to have that running in my iTerm instead of opening it in the terminal. So just npm run start. And I would also open a new tab just uh, to start react native run ios so this will start the ios simulator for us while this is running i have it right here i'm gonna go back to my text editor and i'm gonna open up the index.ios file and the index and android file and i'm gonna create a new file inside a folder called app and then call it an app.js so what we're gonna do is actually get rid of all the code in here. And, well, not all, but most of the code in here. And uh, we're gonna replace it by an app component, which will be defined in the app.js file. The reason we wanna do that is because we want the application to look the same on Android and iOS in this case, so we can share pretty much all of the code. So instead of maintaining two different files, we can maintain just one file and then export that in the Android and iOS. So what we'll do next is go here, delete everything, change it to app. We're also gonna import app from app.app. Uh, if you have not defined this application, so if you try running this, this will obviously give you errors. And we don't need style any styles on this, so we can get rid of that as well. And this is pretty much what we want on our file. So copy that and just paste that in here as well. Just let's check on the simulator again. Seems like it's already installed. And we're just set up live, live reloading, as well as hot reloading. And finally, we're gonna set up debug in Chrome. We're gonna just open the console, just so we have everything here. And going back to the code, we're going to save this to files, go back to our app.js and we're going to import react from react. We're also going to import view text uh, from react native and simply going to export default class app from which sorry extends component which we're gonna import from react as well in this class we're gonna define our constructor 
which has the arguments of props and we're just gonna call super on it we're gonna also define a render method which is for now just gonna return a view with text saying hello and just to make sure everything's running we're gonna reload make sure nothing's broken and it's hard to see but if you look closely you have hello right here which is overlapping and don't worry about that because we'll take care of styling later but before we jump on to any more code we're all gonna install two libraries which we'll be using later in the project so one of them is gonna be movement so if you not heard what movement is it's a library to parse and manipulate time so it will make it easier to display time and date and instead of mess, messing around with JavaScript date of date and time functions so we're gonna install that from npm and we're also gonna install a library called react native keep awake so what this will do is it will uh, disable the device from going to sleep and the reason we want to do that is uh, I personally use this application as a wall clock so I don't want the tablet or the device to be turning off while it's displaying the clock so this will make it easier for it to not go to sleep so we'll have that running uh, we're gonna import movement from movement and import keep awake from react native keep awake so the next thing we're gonna do is actually define our view for the clock so to do that let me minimize my window so I can have the simulator running on the side so you can kind of see what's going on in our view we're actually gonna have a text which will have the time and another text which will have the date so we have not defined the state or the time or so we have not defined the state just yet so let's do that now so in, in our constructor we're gonna do this dot state equals time which is gonna be movement dot format LTS and then the date will be movement the format ll so if these are just basically some formatting which is provided by the moment documentation they just display the time and date in a nice form way and next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna style it so let's define our style sheet so we'll create a constant style which is style sheet dot create and we need to import the style sheet from react native and the styles we want to first create is the container which is going to be the style for the view which is going to have a flex of one a background color of black and justify content of center finally align items center so basically what this is doing is flex one extends the whole application to the device width and justify content and align items center makes all the text in the center so let's add that style to the view and to do that we just type in styles.container and we will need styling for our text so let's define that style dot let's call it time text and for the date uh, let's call it styles dot date text And just a quick disclaimer, if you're wondering why I'm naming this, I've actually already built this application before and I, 
even though it's not really a code block it kind of goes against the idea of being a code block I just thought that it was a really interesting application and a really easy application that could be built using React Native so I kind of thought that I should make a video about it and so over here let's quickly define the styles so in time text you want the color to be a little bit like a lighter gray and font size to be about 80 and the date text let's do the same color and font size to be about 40 Now let's just take a look at how it looks. I cannot read time off null. So we have an error. Let's try to find where the error is. I think one thing we do need to do is restart our package manager since we installed our node packages. So let's do that just to make sure our new NPM packages are included. Go back to our code and Oh, there you go. It was just basically an NPM issue. So let me make it landscape mode So it's kind of better to see that's because that's how I intend to use it So you can see that we have time but the time's not changing So to have the time changing what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a set timeout function which is gonna call this dot set state in here it's gonna call movement.format.lts and date will again be movement.format.lf and we want to refresh it every thousand milliseconds which is one second and let's save that and as you can see now the time is changing every second so the reason the view is changing without us doing every anything is because anytime you call set state and the value of any items in the state changes the react automatically like looks for that and automatically renders the view so that's the most amazing part about react that anytime there is change it will all automatically render your views so i mean the application is pretty much done for the most part and as you can see that we didn't have to write that much code and you can use this install it on your tablet and whatnot and and yeah I mean if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section below or feel free to email me or message me if you have any specific questions and I will try to upload a little bit more consistent videos but it's just that as as I get time which is not that much I will try to make some interesting videos for everyone to watch. So subscribe and stay tuned for, uh, for more videos. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.